On this episode of Flame Central, it's tournament time. We'll get you caught up on Liberty and the A-Sun tourney and explain what makes Darius McGee such an elite athlete. Plus, we'll share the inspirational story of Lady Flame Bria Busby. All that and more, you're watching Flame Central. The madness has begun. Welcome to March and welcome to Flame Central. Alongside Emily Austin, I'm Matt Warner. Matt, this is seriously the best time of year for sports. No you doubt. have baseball and softball in full swing. Football is about to start spring practice. And of course, you have those conference championships in basketball. Yeah, and that's where we begin today's show. This is the fourth year that the Liberty Flames have been in the A-Sun Conference. The previous three, they were cutting down nets when it was all said and done. LU hoping to take the first step towards that same result as they open tourney play Thursday night against Lipscomb. This was not a game where offense came easily. Both teams struggled to get buckets throughout. In the first half, with their star Asana Sajla in foul trouble, it was the Lipscomb freshman Trey Benham rising to the occasion. Benham would finish for the team high 21, and the Bisons led at the half 24-23. Second half, the Liberty offense didn't exactly break out, but it did show signs of life. Keegan McDowell with a couple of shots early in the half to help Liberty take a one-point lead. And then down the stretch, Darius McGee stepping up. He scored 26 of the Flames' 52 points as the Flames take it by the final of 52-47 and survive in advance in the A-Sun tourney. Darius McGee, the worst kept secret to the success of Flames basketball this season. If he isn't draining a deep three in your face, he's probably breaking your ankles on the way to the rim, which is one of the one million reasons why the A-Sun Conference just named him Player of the Year for the second straight season. So at 5'9", you're probably sitting there wondering why and how is Darius McGee such a freak athlete? Well, we had the same question. You don't have to watch Darius McGee long to recognize that he's a freak athlete. I would say he has elite athleticism. That's another way to say it. And Flames Director of Strength and Conditioning, Henry Barrera, would know. We have these, uh, these metrics from NBA, other NCAA teams. He's above and beyond that. I'm telling you, this is elite athleticism in every, every metric that we, that we track. And Barrera has the numbers to back it up. These metrics we've been tracking for about a year, year and a half. Sure, there's the standards, like the max vertical leap. He's upwards of 48, 50 inches, which sounds crazy. It's definitely not normal. And Liberty uses force plate technology that can illustrate just how not normal it is. So if you take a counter move and jump, hands on hips, uh, I'm gonna use myself as, as an example, right? So I'm gonna hit probably like a 15 inch counter movement vertical jump. Well, Darius is gonna hit probably a 23, 24 hands on hips, which is an outrageous expression of power. But it's not just his bounce that makes him special. I think one of the things that makes Darius really, really unique is his braking phase, right? So think of this as an elite braking system. So if you're driving a car and you have to slam the brakes on to avoid injury, boom, Darius has that. So he has the ability to stop on a dime, and we've seen that multiple times in a step back jumper or just some wild play he makes. Another important metric that these force plates record is something called time to take off. So if you're, if you're thinking about cars, right? Uh, when I was young, zero to 60 was a cool metric. So how fast does your car accelerate? So his first, his first burst is different, right? I've been around a lot of athletes the last 20 years, but I've only been around a couple who have this ability to just blow by, right? So when you see him get past the defender, that's an example of, of his time to take off. It's quick, it's a burst, it's an expression of power. These numbers are, are just above and beyond. And you can, you can measure those against other college athletes or NBA, and it's still above and beyond. So he's literally elite NBA athleticism. And Barrera's detailed, data-driven strength and conditioning program has helped take McGee to the next level this season. I can see trends over time, and Darius, just from, from June when we started this summer, his looks like just a rocket. It's just, it's just trending up. We have training sessions we call Prime. All we're trying to do is get a, a potentiation effect. We're trying to supercharge him for the next day. Ironically, he tested out at his highest vertical jump in a counter movement jump ever 
and the next week scored 40 and 48. Down the paint, layup, good. Darius with 48 tonight. Bottom line, McGee isn't just one of the best scorers in the country. He's also one of the best athletes and one Flames fans should enjoy watching while they can. You go watch an NBA game, you'll see the same type of athleticism. We just get to watch it. And sometimes even I take it for granted because he's so gifted, so skilled, and he puts these things together so well. That's it. No more jumps for you guys. That's it for today. Listen, it's one thing to hear those numbers, 48-inch vertical, but when you see it in real life from a guy 5'9", like, it's just mind-blowing. The athleticism he has, obviously a lot of it's God-given, but also the growth he's experienced working with an expert in the field in Henry Barrera. Yeah, and how encouraging it is for an athlete to see that progress on paper and to yeah. see the numbers compared to some NBA guys. I mean, that's got to be pretty cool. But, you know, at the top of this list, yeah. they're, they're trying to reach your numbers because I heard that you... I did test out. We won't share those numbers because I don't, don't want to embarrass crush anyone. The, yeah, I don't want to mm -hmm. crush the, you know, the spirit of these guys, but <laughs> thank you for bringing that yeah. up. Wait, well, what a career Darius <laughs> McGee has had, but he wasn't the only senior on this team. Keegan McDowell also finishing up his career in a Flames uniform. And last week in the lead up to senior day, these two got a special surprise call from many of the former teammates that helped mold them into the players they are today. So senior day, obviously it's been a long road. You've had a lot of people that have supported you along the way, family, friends, also some other guys that wanted to be kind of a part of this conversation. All around the world, you got all these guys that want to call and, and, and say something <laughs> to you guys. Happy yeah, senior day to Darius and King, man. Love y'all. Uh, y'all been doing great. Y'all had a great season so far. Uh, just finish it out strong. Just keep being great, man. Congrats on uh, great seasons, great careers in your life. Uh, you know, big things are ahead for both of y'all. You guys are two of the biggest leaders um, on that team this year, and I think you guys can do special things from now on and, and to the end of the season. So congrats. Happy Senior Day. Keegan, you stole my name. Darius, I'm surprised you ain't got a Jordan tank on right now. <laughs> congrats on a great career. Uh, four years. Close it out. Try to get that four peat, man. Really proud of y'all. Uh, you know I'm watching every single game. So, you know, go there, finish the season strong. A happy senior day to y'all, man. Got to see both of y'all coming in as youngins uh, to see how y'all grown since then. I love watching y'all play and just finish out the season strong, try to get the ring, get back to the tourney, and there you see going foe for foe. Uh, that's impressive, man. And Keegan, I just love the growth I've seen you make on and off the court, really, in the time that I was there last summer. So just congrats to the great four years and just keep pushing. Hey, happy senior day, fella. Just saying congrats and just have fun and, and, keep, and keep doing what you guys do. So just playing basketball and I've seen y'all grow. I wish y'all the best. Happy uh, senior night. I appreciate you guys and the growth that I've seen over your guys' careers on and off the court. Appreciate your guys' work ethic and just your growth that you guys have come through. Love watching you guys play this year. So shout out to two of the best shooters in Liberty history. So proud of you guys, man. Uh, I'll start with Keegs. Keegs, I wasn't sure we were going to make it to five years together, but super thankful. Uh, it's been a blessing to do life with you and to see your growth as a person and a player the last uh, last five years. And Big D McGee, I'm glad that uh, I won't have to guard you in practice anymore. I know, I know my body is very thankful for that. Proud of uh, just the example you've set and all you've accomplished here. You guys are, are both leaving Liberty in a better place than you found it. Love you guys, man. I'm gonna go the opposite with Zach, Darius. I know you're happy. I won't be guarding you no more because you get to score a little bit more in practice. And uh, my boy Keys, man, I I know Caleb can contest to this. The first few years you was here, we probably fought almost every day, or you tried to fight me every day. So we <laughs> won't be having those memories no more. But no, nah, I'm happy for both of y'all, man. Uh, just the way y'all lead the guys, and you know, try to continue the tradition that we started and uh, keep it going. Such a cool moment for those seniors. Let's stay indoors for the ASUN Track and Field Championship. You know, Eugene, Oregon is known as Track Town USA. So does that mean Lynchburg, Virginia should be known as Track Title Town USA? Because the Flames and Lady Flames just swept the ASUN Indoor Championships once again, on the men's side, the Flames dominated competition, taking the crown by 90 points for their 25th straight indoor conference crown. One of the standout performances of the meet was from freshman high jumper Kennedy Sauter. He cleared 7 foot 4.25 inches. People, not only did that win the event in the A-Sun, but it would have taken first in the ACC, Big 10, Big 12, and SEC conference meets. 
so incredible. For the Lady Flames, Adlin Ackley won the 5K in 16 minutes and 54 seconds. And Naomi Mahika had a record-breaking throw in the shot put. Great performances on both sides for LU track and field. As a result, head coach Lance Bingham was voted a Sun Men's and Women's Coach of the Year. What a job by them. All right, let's keep that winning trend going. Liberty Baseball hosting Winthrop for a three-game series. And this would be one-sided. Great starting pitching. That set the tone. Joe Adamets, Trey Gibson, Max Alba combined to allow only one earned run over 17 and two-thirds innings. Yeah, that'll play. Combine that with the fact that Liberty hit six home runs over the three-game set with two of them by Derek Orndorff. And Liberty ran away with this series, taking the first two games by the identical score of 8-1 to one, before finishing off the sweep with a 13-2 to two drubbing. Those wins, combined with the midweek win over Radford, have the Flames at an impressive 7-1 to start the season, and it has them inching higher in the top 25 polls. This week, Liberty rises to number 20, according to D1 Baseball. Baseball America bumped them up one spot this week to number 17, and the USA Today coaches poll has them at number 19. The Flames enjoying being ranked for the first time since way back in 2014. Ooh, great day to be a flame. All right, staying on the diamond, the Lady Flames hosted in-state foe Virginia. And didn't waste any time getting on the board in this one. First inning runners on first and second for LU, and Lou Allen gets one to drop in right center. That will plate Devin Howard, and it's 1-0 Liberty. Let's go to the fifth inning. Lady Flames up 5-2, and they build on that lead with an Alexis Soto double. That brings Kara Canetto home, and the Lady Flames go on to beat UVA 6-2. Up next, they will host the Liberty Softball Invitational. All right, still to come, we go back to the court for a moving story on the faith and fight of Lady Flame Bria Busby. Plus, Rhett McGibbon joins us for another warm, hot, and way go. Stick around, you'll want to check it out. You're watching Flame Central. On this mountain stands a legacy. 50 years of miracles, of mountaintop moments. One mission from the start, training champions for Christ. On this mountain, our flames burn brightly. We have a culture of academic excellence, unified in Christ and authentic community. Though we come from different paths and places, the same fire burns in all of us. And 125,000 strong, we cheer each other on around the stadium and around the world. On this mountain, our intensity lights up the night. We coach forward, push onward, honoring Christ in every sphere of our lives. We serve, give, and volunteer grateful for all that we have been given. For 50 years, Liberty University has stood united in our mission. On this mountain, we train champions for Christ. Your future career will ask you to analyze, assess, implement, react, Make smart decisions in a split second. With a Liberty University degree, you'll be ready because your first day on the equipment comes long before your first day on the job. Get ready to take on tomorrow, today. In 1776, one of the most important documents in our nation's history was penned by one of Virginia's most famous residents. Throughout the next 200 years, the importance of Central Virginia was deeply woven into the tapestry of our nation's history. Liberty University is blessed to be built upon these same historic grounds, furthering the Christian tradition of our founding fathers and training young men and women of character and of calling. At Liberty, you're welcomed into a community rich with history and we invite you to explore our campus in Central Virginia to discover more than just the surface level. Building upon the tapestry of history, we strive for greatness, humble to be at the heart of where the country began.
welcome back to the show. It's not an exaggeration to say that Liberty women's basketball has had one of its best seasons ever. The Lady Flames are 26 and three heading into this weekend's conference tournament. They've battled all year, but have done so without freshman guard Bria Busby. As you're about to see, she's had her own battle to face, and it's one she's confident she'll win. Bria Busby had a goal to play college basketball, and the standout guard from Charlotte Christian School was well on her way to achieving that dream before an unlikely opponent, her health, would sideline her. I knew I wasn't out of shape, but I felt out of shape. And like sometimes, like whenever I would go to school, like I would have headaches. I don't really get headaches. So I was like, this is weird. I'm getting bad headaches. And then other days, like my bones would start hurting. It just wasn't like Bria at all. Um, she's, her nickname is the Energizer Bunny. So to see her, actually asked to come out of a game just she would come out she would need a minute or two and say okay i'm ready to go back in i'm um, just having some trouble breathing catching her breath after falling ill during a game her junior season bria's dad would take her to the er the doctor's initial diagnosis wasn't good he comes in and he's like well you know it could be two things it could be a bad infection or it could be leukemia and i was like whoa 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 what would you just say let's step outside Further tests would diagnose Bria with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, a cancer of the blood and bone marrow. At first, I was just like, this can't be happening. Like, I, I didn't believe it because, like, why would this happen to me? Like, um, but my family and everything, like, we just talked about, like, having the mindset of it's like a basketball game. Like, we got to win. We got to beat this. Yeah, I mean, I think we both had that, like, why is this happening? Why, why Bria? You know, we, it would be silly to say we didn't have those thoughts, but you quickly come to the realization that there are no mistakes in life. God does not make mistakes and we live on his promises. While the overall prognosis to beat the disease was good, Bria would have to endure many months of intense chemotherapy. She has a very competitive spirit. She always has, she has three brothers and is probably the toughest one in the family, even though she's the only girl. Her fight, uh, I, th I think sports actually helped because she just has that competitive spirit. I will beat this, like I will beat you, or you know, if you're on the court with this, she just kind of looked at it from that perspective. The cancer would eventually go into remission and Bria was back onto the court for her senior season. And when the time came to make her college choice, one school stood above the rest. I can tell you that the most consistent coaching staff keeping in contact with Bria through her battle was Liberty University. And Coach Green would call, not to talk about basketball, to just pray with her. And I think the Lord spoke to Bria's heart and showed her, this is, this is where you need to be. For us, it was very obvious that they cared about Bria as a person, um, as a child of God, and not just as a basketball player. Bria would enroll at Liberty in early summer, eager to show that she could compete. Like our workouts and stuff, I think that really helped me get like back to myself too, cause like I got stronger, faster, and like everything just helped me really. I think she came in with a little bit of a chip on her shoulder. She wanted to prove that, hey, you know, I had a little setback with my health, but I'm here and I'm ready to work. But like any freshman, you know, she had her good days and bad days. Uh, you know, everyone's talented in college. Uh, but, you know, her speed was there, uh, her tenacious defense was there. But not long into the summer, Bria felt something just wasn't right. I was having a really, really bad headache, and I haven't had a really bad headache since the last time um, I got diagnosed. I wasn't thinking it was leukemia. I just thought, like, I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have that, oh, maybe I relapsed again. We went there to pick her up. And she was just silent the whole time, wouldn't say anything. I was like, what's, what's the matter with you? She's like, oh, it's just, it's just not right. It's just, I just got a bad feeling. Doctors would confirm that the cancer had returned. Once again, Bria would have to fight. It is kind of a blow when you think, okay, we've, we've gotten over this hurdle and we, you know, have said God healed her. And now, Lord, why, why, why a second time? To be honest, I was just like, okay, we just got to do this again. We got to beat this again. I mean, of course I was sad, like I was crying and stuff, but it's just like another battle, another game that I just have to, you know, beat. Bria would move back home to Charlotte to undergo treatments, 
The time away from her team and the games she loves was difficult. It's hard, like, whenever the games come on, I'm just like, oh, I want to be out there. But then it's like, I'll, like, if they have a good game, I'll text them. And her Liberty teammates would keep in regular contact, letting her know that she was still a part of their family. When I first met her, like, it was like, it was like an instant, like, like you, you, you're good people, like, you got a cool mindset, you're fun to be around. And then, like, at the end of the day, that's my teammate. So it's like, it's almost natural to, like, just check up on your sister, like, see how you're doing, how is everything, because, like, it's not easy and I couldn't even imagine it, but sometimes all people need is like a friend. I heard from them quite a bit because they were like praying for me and telling me that like I got it and you know, just continue prayers or whatever. So that was good to hear from them. As often as possible, Bria and her parents would make the trip to Liberty to support the Lady Flames, allowing Bria to take her seat next to her teammates. And although right now she's not able to contribute on the court, Bria's impacting those around her off it. What's going on is extremely frustrating. Like, she just really wants to be back. And, like, that's the kind of thing that keeps me in the back of my head. Like, there's people who want to be here. So, like, on even on my worst days, the team's worst days, it's like one of our very own wishes she could be here right now. As a parent, you hurt just as much, even though it may not be truly the physical hurt, but inside your gut and your soul, you hurt for your child. But to see her smile every single day, that type of attitude, that positive attitude, um, always wanting again to beat it and come out on top is what has gotten her through and has been inspirational to us. I think my faith has gotten stronger. The first time it was a little rocky, but towards the end it was getting stronger. And just like my parents, they are always constantly telling me different verses and our verse, Jeremiah 29, 11, that's always pops up everywhere. So it's, you know, my faith gets stronger and stronger each day. Getting stronger and looking forward to the opportunity to return to the hardwood. I've been thinking about that a lot. Sometimes like I'll be down and be like, I don't know if this is gonna happen or whatever, but I know if I have the right mindset and stay positive, then I'll be back there. She'll be back. She'll be back. She'll have fun. I have no doubt about that. But for me, it's just, I just wanna see God's plan for her life. She doesn't like to think of herself as an inspiration because, again, that's attention that she doesn't necessarily want. But it is an opportunity for her to be able to show others that whether it's an injury or a sickness or an illness or, or something as big as cancer, that if you stay positive, you put God first in all that you do and you use it for His glory, that He'll show up and show out. Great piece done by our Jonah Jabor. Hopeful to see Bria yeah. here on campus soon. All right, switching gears to WEF. Warm, hot, and in fuego. Rhett breaks down the top three plays, players, moments of the week. We don't have a theme, but it's no. still very hot. Yeah, it could be. Like, this is the first time in a long time that I would say there's been four different performances, athletes that could all be in fuego. Yeah. And here's the deal. Darius McGee. I feel like he could be in fuego every, every week. week. So we've had to kick him out, unfortunately. I'm sorry, <laughs> Darius, because we got to give some other people a chance right, here. Right, right. Yeah. So bring the heat with right. in fuego warm. In fuego warm. That's going to be Kennedy Sauter. This young man, you mentioned it oh earlier. My gosh. What a performance by him. Seven feet, 4.25 inches, four and a quarter inches, qualified for the 2022 National Championship, a meet and facility record, third best among high jumpers this season. And the kid is a true freshman. It's unbelievable. That's, that's the big deal. And then, the most impressive stat of all this, and you talked about it, this would have been the best jump. He would have won top spot in the ACC, Big 10, Big 12, and SEC. Like, that is absolutely incredible stuff. And the exciting part is, he's got three more years after this, right? Yeah, it like, is really This exciting. guy is going to, you could see him having a national championship in his future. And what I love yeah. is the support of his teammates. Yeah. Everyone gathered around and oh, yeah, watched they him hyped. clear that yeah, jump. So, stuff. congrats to him. All right, from and fuego warm to in, fu in fuego hot. <laughs> <laughs> Who Devin do we Howard. have? <laughs> Devin Howard on the softball team. What a streak she was on. Hits in 11 straight at Ooh. bats. That is too shy of the NCAA record. She set, yeah, I know, right? Wow. Yeah, I know. Too shy of the NCAA record. She set a Liberty record for hits in straight at bats. She also set a Liberty record in reaching base in 11 straight plate appearances. She is now the leadoff hitter for LU the past couple of games, and she is just confidence is dripping all over like you can tell when she gets up there she's like I'm gonna smack the cover off this ball she has just been the offensive 
presence that Liberty's needed with so much graduating last season. She's been a real key for them, and it was a lot of fun to see Devin on that hot streak that not seen before. You ask so many people, they're like, I've never seen anything like this. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, you know the ball is like that big when you're hitting yeah, the oh, ball that sure. well. Beach so hopefully that in. continues with her. Yeah. Okay, and Fuego and Fuego, who do we have? <laughs> Derek Orndorff. Oh. I How mean, much fun has it been to watch this guy? It's insane. Seven home runs, 13 RBI. He's tied third nationally in home runs. Now, this is what blows my mind. He leads the Flames in runs, hits, home runs, RBI, slugging percentage, stolen bases, which you wouldn't really think of with a slugger like him. He's five for five on the year, has yet to commit an error as well at center field. He has just been everything he could hope for. And you think about it, this too, unfortunately, Jalen Guy gets injured, but would you have seen Orndorff this early on if Guy hadn't been hurt? Like, he has really taken huge advantage of this opportunity. Great to see him doing so well. Interviewed him yesterday. Should we expect a home run at every at-bat? And he's like, uh, maybe that's a little unrealistic. <laughs> Feature coming on him soon. All right, thanks, Fred. Yeah. We have more Flame Central coming up next. You want to make a difference. You want to use your life to help others. Liberty University offers a state-of-the-art respiratory therapy program, which has never been more valuable. The field offers competitive salaries, flexible work environments, and most importantly, is an opportunity to use your life to help others. Find out how you can change the world at liberty.edu slash restherapy. Welcome back to Flame Central. With this year being Liberty University's 50th anniversary, each week we've been bringing you some of the top LU athletics moments from the past 50 years. Yeah, and it's fitting that this week's moment comes from March Madness. And it also happens to be one of the great wins in Liberty athletics history. March 22nd, 2019. Men's basketball in the big dance as a 12th seed against 5th seeded Mississippi State. Down by 10 with 7.18 to go, Caleb Holmesley would lead the charge, scoring 14 of Liberty's final 27 points to secure a four-point victory. Wait, wait, wait. Yes! It was the first ever NCAA tournament win for the Flames, and head coach Richie McKay wants to make sure it's not the last. Remember, beginning of the year, we talked about if you want to go fast, go alone. What, what do you got to do if you want to go far? You taught him that move, right? Yeah, this is the only time I've ever seen Richie McKay dance, honestly. But I remember being courtside of that game in San Jose. That team was down to Mississippi State. And late in that game, just that surge and comeback, it was so incredible. And Caleb Holmesley really became kind of a national phenomenon there for about 24 hours as he had a monster game against Mississippi State in that way. Such a cool yeah. moment. All right, so the combine NFL is combine. happening. Yeah. The NFL draft is fast approaching, right. if you don't know. QB1, Malik Willis, yeah. apparently. We have all of the coverage from that, so be sure to tune in next week. Check in at the Flame Central podcast. We have you covered right here. That's right. That'll do it for this week. We'll see you right back here next time.